How to Check Heart Rate You've seen paramedics do it. You've seen healthcare providers do it as well. However, when you try it out yourself, you're not exactly sure where you should place your fingers to feel the pulse, or you get your counting all wrong. So, here's how to check heart rate for those interested. 1. There's more than meets the eye when it comes to measuring your pulse. There are various factors that affect heart rate, which you need to control in order to get the most accurate reading. One is temperature. The warmer it is, the higher your pulse is. Therefore, check your heart rate at room temperature, away from direct sunlight or heat sources. 2. Other factors are body size, but only if you are grossly overweight and on medications. Some medications can raise or lower your pulse. Moreover, physical activity level is a factor. The more athletic and active you are, the lower your heart rate because the muscles in your heart don't need to work as hard. So, don't be alarmed if your reading is below the normal 60 to 80 beats per minute range if you work out regularly. 3. In addition, body position and emotions affect heart rate. Although you may get similar readings while standing or sitting, there may be a bit of a difference if you take your pulse within 15 to 20 seconds after you stand up. When you're very sad or happy, your pulse rate may also go down or up more than normal. So make sure that you're feeling neutral and settled when you check your heart rate. 4. According to the American Heart Association, there are four areas on your body where you can find your pulse. At the bottom of your foot, inside your elbow, at the sides of your neck, and on your wrists. Among all four, the wrist is recommended. 5. When checking your pulse, use your middle and index fingers together instead of the thumb. That's because the thumb has a light pulse and may confuse you as you're counting the beats. 6. When looking for a pulse in your neck, lightly press the middle and index fingers on that hollow area next to your windpipe. When checking for a beat on your wrist, apply light pressure at the base of your thumb, which is more or less the outer edge area of your wrist. Press hard enough to feel your pulse and maintain the pressure. If you can't find it, move your fingers around a little bit or press a little harder until you feel the pulsation. Make sure you're sitting down comfortably your palm is facing upwards, and your elbow is slightly bent when you take your pulse. 7. Using a timer or a watch, count the beats for a whole minute. Alternatively, you can count your pulse for only 30 seconds and simply multiply the resulting number by 2. If you find it hard to count, get assistance from someone else. 8. If you're relaxed and rested, the resulting heart rate per minute is called the resting heart rate. The normal range is 60 to 100 beats per minute. For fit individuals and athletes, the BPM may range from 40 to 60. Learning how to check your heart rate is an essential skill, as you could use it in emergency situations. If your pulse tends to go lower than 40 or higher than 120, see your doctor as soon as you can.